Hello, welcome back to Unified Husky. Your success is what gives us joy. For all viewers and subscribers, thank you for your support. In this video, I would like to take us through oxygen administration. The allotted time for the skill is 10 minutes and it is a practical skill demonstration. And please bear in mind that it is to be treated as a form of implementation. What do we need for the skill? We need a source of oxygen supply that is either piped or a portable oxygen cylinder. We need a flow gauge with a flow meter to control the flow rate. I have my non rebreather mask known as reservoir mask. It's in date. The expiry date is August 2025. It's not expired and it has a mark of single use, non reusable. The use of gloves and apron for this skill is optional because based on the marking criteria, it's not stated that we have to use glove and apron. But I have my glove and apron. Using it will not cause any harm. I've confirmed my tray is cleaned with soap and water. I've cleaned my tray with cleaner wipes. I've validated my cleaner wipes. It's in date, not expired. And I clean in zigzag manner from farthest to nearest. And the backside in zigzag manner from farthest to nearest. The glove and the apron used for the cleaning discarded in the clinical waste. Now I arrange my materials and I will go back to my patient. So now how do we go about this procedure? Let's get started. As I approach the scene, I can confirm the scene is safe to approach. There is nothing that can cause harm to myself or my patient. I ensure privacy is provided by pulling the curtain. I go ahead to do my hand hygiene, putting an ampoule of gel. I do my hand hygiene based on WHO standard, palm to palm, palm over back of hand, vice versa, palm to palm with fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, vice versa, rotational rubbing of the thumb, vice versa, my fingertips and palm, vice versa, my wrist in rotational manner, vice versa, allow my hands to air dry for 30 seconds, I'll go ahead, I'll put my apron, Hello, Hi, nurse. my name is Ademola. I'm your attending nurse for today. I'm here to give your required oxygen prescribed by your doctor. Are you aware of that? Yes, nurse. Or oh, are you happy for me to give that? Yes, nurse. Wonderful. But before I go ahead, I would like to confirm your full name and date of birth as I cross check with the documents I have with me and your id band is that okay with you yes sir. can you tell me your full name please my name is james johnson wonderful james johnson i can see i have james johnson on your wristband and my document your date of birth the first of august 1993 wonderful 0108 1993 on my documents and on your wristband as well how will you love to be called i like to be called jj oh that's good to hear JJ, have you got any allergy to food, drug, or latex? No, none that I know of. Wonderful. I can see you've got no red wristband, and on my documents, no documented allergy. Yeah, JJ, are you in any form of pain? No, not really. Are you comfortable? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. And can you see me? Can you hear me well? Yes, perfect. Wonderful. Yeah, JJ, like I said, I'm here to give you oxygen. The doctor have prescribed oxygen for you because your saturation, and this means your oxygen level, you know, when you breathe in oxygen, you breathe in into your lungs, and from your lungs, it goes into your circulation around all the parts of your body. It's below 
the expected range. The expected range that your doctor wants you to attain is 94 to 98 for you, but you maintaining at 92 and your doctor is not happy about that. So the oxygen is a high flow concentration, 100% oxygen. This will supplement your oxygen and it will help you, it will improve your oxygenation and you can breathe better and will still keep an eye on you. Is that okay with you? Yes, nurse. Wonderful. But before I go ahead, I will just try to take you through your drug charts. Is that okay with you? Yes, nurse. Yeah, I've got the drug chart of James Johnson, date of birth 01081993, no documented allergy. The target saturation is 94 to 98%. Consultant is Dr. Khan. The weight is 85. Date of admission is today. All prescriber signature. Dr. A. Bullard and GMC 65493. Bleep number 6852. Details of person administering medication is present. No risk factors. JJ is not a CO2 retainer. The device to be used is RM, which is reservoir mask. The weight is 15 liters per minute. The start date is today, the date of my exam. And the stop date is today. It's to be given for two hours from 16th hour to 18th hour. And the column for my signature is present. Duly signed by Dr. A. Bullard, bleep number 6852. So the prescription is, is complete, valid, and legible. So I'm happy to go ahead. I will go ahead and quickly do my hand hygiene again. Hi, JJ. Hi, nurse. Yeah, I need you to sit in an upright position. Are you comfortable in this position? Yes. Ma You're already sitting in an upright position. That's wonderful. Okay. So the mask is not going to cause you any harm. I'm discarding this. It's not going to cause you any harm, like I said. Is that okay with you? Yes, nurse. No. Okay. Wonderful. Just trying to unwind the tube so the first thing i need to do i'm connecting the end of the tube to the oxygen flow meter okay so i've connected that i'll turn the oxygen flow rates to 15 liters per minute now that is the expected rates i need to cover the inner valve there's an inlet we can see the inlet there's an inlet the one-way valve between the mask and the reservoir bag i'm going to cover that i'll just press on it with my finger to allow the reservoir bag to be fully initiated after pressing my finger on the single valve the inlet valve and the bag is fully initiated i'm going to attach the mask to um, jj's face hello jj hi nurse yeah i'm going to put the mask over your face it won't harm you is that okay yes, you nurse. don't need to be afraid so i'm pulling the elastic over your head and i'll make sure you are comfortable are you okay Yes, nurse. Are you comfortable? Yes. Nurse. Okay, wonderful. So I ensure the mask covers your nose and mouth so you can start to breathe in the oxygen. You know, the bag is full of oxygen. You can breathe in and breathe out into the mask. I'm adjusting the nose brace. There is a metal brace at the bridge of the nose. You no, know? I make sure it forms a tight seal but not so loose and i'm are you okay jj yes are nurse. you comfortable yes nurse. wonderful there is an exhalation valve at the two side and the exhaled hair goes out to that this valve 
JJ, you are okay now. I will make sure I do a regular skin check on you. Both the back of your head, your ears, and the skin around your face. You know, some of the side effects of oxygen therapy can be dryness of the mouth and dryness of the nasal mucosa. But like I said, we'll give, do a regular check on you. We do oral mouth care on you regularly as well to make sure you are comfortable. Are you happy with that? Yes. Ma'am. Okay. I'm going to do a regular check of your oxygen level using the oxygen probe like it was checked previously and make sure you attain the target. The target is 94 to 98%. If the target is not achieved, this will be escalated as appropriate as well. Is that okay? Yes. And please make sure you do not use any petroleum um, moisturizer on your lips at this time as well. This is not good. Is that okay? All right. And that is all I have for you. Are you happy? Thank you, nurse. Okay. Can you breathe better? Do yes. you feel a, a good improvement in your oxygen? I love that. Oh, wonderful. And I'll be around for the next 30 minutes to check on you. But that's all I have for now. Just give me a few minutes to document what I've done. Is that okay with you, JJ? Yes, yes. Okay. I remove my gloves. I remove my gloves and apron into the clinical waste. I'll do my hand hygiene, following all the steps, making sure all the steps are covered. So I'm going to document. I'll sign my name, the column for details of person administering medication. I will sign the dates and I will sign at the time, at 16th hour, what I've given. And that brings us to the end of oxygen administration, oxygen therapy. I believe if you, this will be useful. If you follow this step, you should ace your oxygen therapy with smile. Thank you for watching. If you find this useful, let your likes, your subscription, keep it coming. We appreciate that. It means a lot. And bye for now.